The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 5th Canto, 5th Chapter, Text Number 1, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 25th, 1976, in Bombay, India. Prabhupada Bhang, ah, the shop name says, my dear sons, this body, human body, Ayana Deha, this body is not for wasting like dogs and hogs. Uh, they are not wasting. They are in the gradual evolution process. Jalajanam Lakhani Sthavara Lakhavinsati. They are coming to the human form of body gradually by nature's law. Prakite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa. So long we are in the lower species of life, we are conducted by complete uh, laws of nature. Prakite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa according to the different gunas. There are three gunas, uh, therefore the material nature is called gunamayi. Daivit jesha gunamayi mama maya duratvaya. Krishna says that this material energy, there are three different energies of the Supreme Law. Uh, he has got multi energies, parasa shakti bibilaiva sriyate. Uh, we can see his activities are going on, different varieties of activities in this world, but they have been summarized into three divisions uh, satagon, rajagon, tamagon. So, Satakun Ramagon, the animals they are in the tomb. Then gradually they are elevated by the evolutionary process to the Rajagon. And then we are elevated to the Satagon. That is the Brahminical qualification. And we have to surpass the Satakun also. Uh, not that coming to the platform of Satakuna we become perfect. No. There is chance of falling down from the Satakun. Uh, we have got practical experience in this age, Kalijo. Many persons have fall, fallen down from the platform of Brahminical qualification. The Brahminical qualification is the platform of Satogun. Sama, Dhamma, Titikya, Aryava, Jnanam, Vijnanam, Asikam, Brahma, Karma, Sabhava. This is the Brahminical culture. Uh, so, if uh, by coming to the platform of Brahminical culture, one is sure that is not possible. Uh, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita that sometimes Satogon is overpowered by Rajagon, or Rajagon is overpowered by Tamagon, or Satogon is overpowered by Tamagon. In this way, topsy turvy is going on. That is material world. But if you uh, want to become above the material platform, then you have to take to the uh, platform of devotional service. That is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Mancha abhyavicharini bhakti yogena ja sevati sagunana samatitra etan brahma bhuvyaya kalpa. If you take to the platform of Krishna consciousness, then 
we can uh, overcome the uh, jurisdiction of the Trigun. That is also advised by Lord Krishna to Arjuna. Trigunla Vishaya Veda Nistrigunla Bhavad. This whole world is being conducted by the three gunas. And if you want to uh, above the three gunas, then you have to tend uh, to this platform, Nistra uh, Yuna, Nirguna, which is called a Nirguna. Nirguna does not mean that no quality. No, Nirguna means nirastha jatra <laughs> this material quality. Uh, do not think, as some philosophers think, like that, that after being Brahma-bhūta, as it is stated, brahma bhūyāya kalpate, then business is finished. No, business is not finished. That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Na Sochati Nakam Samasar Sarvaishi Bhute Chu Madhavti Lavati Para. When you come to the platform of transcendence, Brahma Bhuta, because we are going on under the wrong impression that I am this body. Uh, this is the most fallen condition of the present human society. Uh, they are taking this body. Uh, of course, this bodily conception of life, there was even five thousand years ago when the battle of Kurukshetra took place. Arjuna was very much disturbed on the platform of this bodily conception. Because he thought that he belongs to a particular family and in that battle he has to fight with his family members, so he declined to fight. Uh, but Krishna, to raise him from that platform, he chastised uh, that asuchyam anusutastam pragyamadam stabhasa. My dear Lord, you are lamenting for a subject matter, uh, uh, and at the same time you are talking just like a very learned man. Asa chanam sutastam prajyamadam savat gatasur agatasum sa nanu sutanti pandita. That means indirectly he accused Arjuna. That you are not Pandit. You are a fool. Uh, because you are lamenting on the subject matter on which no Pandita laments. Uh, so what is that? This bodily conception. Agatasum, Gatasum, Avatasum. This body, dead or alive, is not the subject matter of studying by learned scholars. This is the beginning of Bhagavad uh, Dead or alive. Uh, so, actually, we are concerned at the present moment uh, with the board, either Indian, American, Hindu, Muslim, uh, Brahman, Khatriya, these are all bodily conceptions of life. But Shastra says, that those who are on the bodily conception of life, they are no better than the animals. The Shatma Buddhi Kunapi Tidhaku Sadhik Kalatras Hisu Oma Jadhu Hajati Jati Tabuddhi Salile Nakar Hichi Janeshu Abhigyeshu Saiva Gokar. On the bodily concepts of life, conception of life, we take leadership. Then uh, the position is saiva gokha. Go means cow. 
animals, and kara means ass. So he is no better than the animals go and kara. So how he can take leaders? This is the difficulty at the present moment that we take leadership of the society, uh, although we remain on the bodily conception of life. They cannot take leadership. Uh, so another place it is condemned. Savir Barahau Stakharoi Samasvita Purusha Pasu. These are Shastri injunction that when we elect some leader without uh, any spiritual knowledge, then what is the position? The position is that the elected person is also one of us. And what is our position? Our position is without spiritual knowledge, without being beyond the bodily consciousness of life, we are no better than Savir Barahau Stakhar. Sa means dog. And Bir Baraha means the two liter horse. And Ustra means carrot. And ass. As means Gada. Uh, Khara. Uh, Khara means as. So, uh, this is a long uh, definition. Uh, uh, the summary is that without spiritual knowledge, with bodily conception of life, we are no better than the dogs, camels, and the hogs, and asses. So we should not become uh, like that. Uh, therefore, the subject advises that tapo dibbang putraka jena sattam suddhe. Now, in the bodily conception of life, we are so much contaminated that our existence is now polluted. Uh, actually, it is polluted. Because Krishna says, Najayate Namriyate Vakadachit, Nahanati Handamani Sari. This is our position. Our position is we never take bath. Uh, we are not subjected to take bath because we are part and parcel of God, spirit soul, and Najayate Namriyate Vakadachit. We do not die. Ah. Now how we are seeing every day we are dying. My father died, my brother died, my neighbor died. How is that? No, hannate hannamani sari. This is our position. We do not die. Even the body is destroyed. So where is that knowledge throughout the whole world? There is no such law. There is no university, no school, no college to impart this knowledge, the nāhannati hannamāni sarīte. The simple word, uh, this is a fact, and who is speaking, the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, he accepted, Arjuna accepted, Arjuna uh, listened to Krishna about Bhagavad-gītā, and he understood that here is the Supreme Person. Uh, not only that, he admitted that not that I am your friend, just like it has become a fashion. If I like somebody, I make him God. Uh, he is not, Krishna is not that type of God, by meditation or by both. He is God. Uh, Krishna is true Bhagavan Sam. Uh, just like when he was only three months old, uh, on the lap of his mother, the putana came to kill him, but uh, he killed that uh, putana Rakhasi. Uh, he was that time also God when three months old, and uh, he had not to go undergo the austerity, some meditation. Uh, he had no time. Uh, so from the very beginning, up to the uh, time of his departure, 
from this world, uh, he is God. That is God. God is not manifest. God is always God. Neither God falls down. Therefore, Krishna is addressed in the Bhagavad Gita as Ochuta. Ochuta means falling down. And Krishna is Ochuta. So, we are parts and parcel of Krishna. Krishna admits, Mamivam to Jivuta. Ahamabija Padapita. We are sons of God, Krishna. Uh, not that by imagination, God Himself said, uh, and uh, all Shastra say that Jiva is equal in quality uh, with God. Uh, that's a fact. Then why uh, we are subjected to this birth and death, old age and disease? That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Jarma Mittu Jarabhadi Dukha Dushanu Darsana. We are trying to solve all problems of life. But real problem is Jarma Mittu Jarabhadi. Uh, where is that scientist? Where is that education to conquer over uh, birth, death, old age, and disease? Uh, they are trying to control birth control. Uh, overpopulation. Uh, and that is not a problem. Uh, birth control cannot be. There cannot be. The birth rate is increasing. Uh, that is not possible. And why birth control? Uh, that is also a long subject matter. There is no need of birth control. Because Krishna says, Ahama Bija Padapita. I am the Father. And Krishna is uh, not only ordinary Father, but He is the controller of nature. Maya Thaksena Prakriti Shriyate Sachara Charam He Tunani Na Kaumthiya Jagadmi Parivarta. So nature is producing our footstep and He is the controller. <coughs> and he is the father. So how there can be a scarcity of food? This is a bogus propaganda. That because the population is big, therefore we cannot manage. This is our uh, incapability. We cannot manage. We accuse the uh, overpopulation. Uh, but actually, if you study Shastra, if we accept Krishna as the Father, the Supreme Lord, he is not a poor man. He knows. Vedaham Samiti He knows past, present, and future. Uh, so it is not that because there is a world population, there is scarcity of food. No, that is not the cause. The cause is that as soon as uh, people will become godless, the supply will be stopped. That time is coming. That time is coming, it is predicted in the Srimad Bhagavatam that anavristi, durvikha, and karapirita, people gradually being godless, they will be suffering from these three principles. There will be no more rainfall. Ah. And therefore, uh, last time when I was in Europe, I do not know what has happened now, there was scarcity of rain and England was making plan to import water. So this is scientist program. Uh, there is enough water in the sea, but they cannot use it. So there is hand up. Unless God helps, Krishna helps, Maya Dhaksena Prakriti Suyate Satcharatsana. The vast ocean, eh? although the water is there, you cannot use one drop. You are so controlled. Prakriti Kriyamanani Guni Karmani Sarmas. Ahankara Vimuratma Kartla Ham Niti Mannati. Ahankara, our false egotism, we are suffering eh, by, by the punishment offered by nature. Uh, so the cause is godlessness. 
if we become godless, the prakriti will restrict supply. So much so, there will be durvikha on our state. How you can control? Uh, because you, are, you may be very great scientist, you may deny the existence of God. And when there is on our state, you are looking up on the sky, when there will be clouds and there is no. Then, and taking this plea, uh, our uh, government will tax uh, for relief fund. Uh, that is all mentioned in the Simhad Bhagavad. On Avishti Durvikha Karapirita. People will be so much harassed. And Durvikha Achinna Dharadravina Gachanti Virikananam. They will be so much harassed by these three principles. Uh, no rainfall, scarcity of grains, and taxed heavily by the government. Uh, they will be so much harassed that dharadvina gachanti giritanam. They will be uh, forced to leave home. Then now it is hopeless. I cannot manage. Let me go to the forest. So, and there will be now we are getting uh, rice or wheat or sugar, uh, but these things will be completely stopped. Now we are getting milk powder, but there will be no milk. Uh, it is not my imagination that the sky and the symptoms of Kaliju, uh, that the end of Kaliju, these things will happen. Uh, that means more and more suffering. More and more we become godless, more and more suffering will be inflicted by the laws of nature. Therefore, the Sabde says here that tapo dibbana putraka jena sattam suddhe. This human life is not meant for, uh, I will say, spoiling by working hard like the animals, as we have said, uh, that kastana uh, kama, <coughs> kastana uh, kama, we require something, some certain, uh, because we have got this body. The very uh, easy solution is given by Lord Krishna, anad bhavanti bhutani, we produce food grain. Why you are going to produce tools and, and implements and, uh, of course, we do not condemn. But at the sacrifice of producing food grain, we simply open big, big tire factory. When I go to Delhi, I see from Vrindavan, hundreds and thousands of persons are coming from the village and cycle to go to the tire factory, Goodyear tire. Uh, so now he tired uh, in his of getting food grants. So this is misdirected civilization. Uh, Krishna does not say that it produced that to you. Uh, Krishna says, Anlada Bhavanti Bhutan. You produce all of this is practical solution. Uh, we are therefore started uh, in uh, Europe and America farming. And they are very happy. In our letters back to Godhead, the description is published about our farm in France. We have got a very palatial building, uh, and uh, we have named it New Mayapur. Uh, what is the place? Name? Yes, uh, I cannot pronounce this French word. Yes. So anyway, uh, our men, there are about 300 men living there. Uh, last time, four months, five months before I was there. It is very, very nice place. Uh, we, are pr we are getting our own fruits, own vegetables, uh, fresh, and we are getting uh, fresh uh, wheat and milk. Uh, it is so happy life, you see. So, government is also advertising, go to the village. Actually, that is right. Uh, go to the village. Mahatma Gandhi also wanted to organize 
this life. Uh, but unfortunately a came. Uh, now we have got a place in Hyderabad, about six hundred acres of land. We are also trying here. We have already done in Mahapur. We are producing our own food, our own cloth, own milk, and we are chanting our age. This is the simplest life. Uh, this life is meant for not working like hogs and dogs. That is the instruction. Nayana deva deva vajana niloke kastana kamana arati virbhujana ji. This is the business of this two liter hog. But what is meant for human life? Tapur dibbhanga putra ka jina satya suddev. Just rectify your existence. You are not to die. Why don't you take this formula uh, seriously? Then I am not subject to that. Uh, I am not subject to death. Why I am forced to take birth and die? This is one question. Uh, that is human life. Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Now, this life is meant for I am Brahma. Now, I must inquire about my identity, about my constitutional position, how I can become happy, why I am put into this tribulation, dukkha laya vasaasvatam. Krishna says, I am not saying. This place, Krishna says, it is dukkha laya vasaasvatam. But we are trying to mitigate our distresses by material adjustment. Uh, but Krishna says, no, that is not possible. The image is agunamai, mamamaya adhuratya. Whatever plan you make, the nature will break it. Uh, you have to suffer here. Uh, because you are preferred to come into this material world and want to become happy, uh, you do not know what is the way of happiness. You must suffer. Uh, Krishna does not like because we are his sons. But it is a punishment under the control of the material nature. Uh -huh. If we want, uh, if we want to avoid this punishment, dukkha alayam, janma mitrinjana bhali, dukkha dhusana dhasa, this polluted condition, this is polluted condition. Na mitana, na hannati hannamane sarire. The human life is meant for inquiry about our permanent life. He requires a guru, not a guru who can give me some so-called uh, happiness by manufacturing some material thing. No. Uh, the guru means, as it is described by Vishnā Chakravarti, saṅsāra dāvā nalavīra lōpā prānāya kārinna kanādhanatya Pratasya kalyana gunarnavasya bandhi gurasri charanāya. Guru means one who can deliver me from this dukkhālāyam sāsatam. Māyā, we are in the dukkhālāyam sāsatam, but under the influence of māyā, we are thinking we are living very happy, or we are not trying to solve the question. No, this kind of solution will not help you because you have to die. Uh, whatever you make solution, Krishna said, mṛttu uh, sarva uh, harastraṁ. If you don't agree to surrender to Krishna, all right, make your arrangement. But at the time of death, I shall come and take away everything, whatever you have. Mṛttu sarva harastraṁ. Then your bank balance, your skyscraper building, your country, your family, your good name, everything will be taken out. Uh, and you have to accept another body. Tatha dehantara prati. Now whatever assessment we did uh, in this life, everything will be taken away. And you will be forced to accept one body which you cannot deny. Karmana daiva netrena. Jantar deha bhavati. According to your karma, you have to accept another body. 
because you are under the uh, laws of material nature. Purusha prakriti sthopi. Therefore, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives us the direction. Jivir sarup hoi nitta krishna da. Don't try to become purusha or enjoy artificially. Uh, better, instead of serving your senses, you become servant of the Supreme Law. This is Krishna concept.